Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cammy's Craftiques. My name is Cammy. Um, today is my film day, so I will be filming quite a few uh, rescue boxes here. I'm not sure what I have in front of me because I have been ordering boxes when there is free shipping involved from ThreadUp or if there's like a percentage off. The first box I'm going to take is this huge box. It's pretty heavy, so I am thinking that it may be, I'm thinking it may be a handbag box. So if you look over here, I have puppies. I have a puppy who started chewing a hole in the box. Um, <clears throat> actually, here is my my invoice, so I kind of could tell you what it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's from one of the puppies. Um, so yes, it was a rescue handbag, 15 piece handbag box. Uh, price was $120. So I'm thinking I must have gotten free shipping on this. So I'm going to open the box. Usually I do this before time. Uh, let me tell you where the box came from. This box came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So I hope in the meantime, you all have been doing great. Great vibes, positive vibes, all good things happening. Um, always make lemonade out of the lemons life gives you. Okay, so I don't know if I can hold this up so much. It's a pretty heavy box. This is what it looks like so far. Just tissue paper. And holy moly, I want to scream. Right off on the top, I got a Tory Birch tote bag. It feels like a, a nylon. It's like a a gray top color. Um, I'm really super excited and totally impressed on this right now. Um, this may pay off my whole box or close to it. So let's show you the inside lining. Okay, so that's the inside interior. I did notice a stain um, let's see. So there is some staining on there. It looks like, uh, let's see if I can get it where you can see it. It looks like it's right under here. It's right about over here. I don't know if you can see that, but there is some staining. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Let's make sure all the zippers work. That works. There's a little flat pocket, not flat, just a little doohickey pocket. Um, made in China. It is probably magnetic closure. Yes. So this feels like leather straps. It is, no, it isn't. I was going to say it's missing a strap, but it's not. Because these, this is how you snap it like for storage and stuff. Um, let's make sure they work. Wow, I'm really, really excited over this box already. Um, okay, so I am having a problem right here with this snap. It's not snapping for me. Yeah, I think that is a flaw, not a big deal. I will disclose that. Um, and off camera, I'll look at this a li little bit better. But yeah, it's like a, a taupe, like gray taupe. It's really in nice shape. I do see a tiny little stain, but all in all, oh, a bigger stain here. I'm going to try to get this out on my own. Leather bottom doesn't look too bad. So right now I'm thrilled with how my box began. Oh, thank you. Wow, this is a gigantic bag. Um, it feels like 
maybe a vegan leather. Let's see if there's a name. It says Jim Thompson. Not familiar with that bag, but it is. I bet it's leather. I bet this is super soft, supple leather. Usually when these tags are on, it has been um, not authorized. What word am I looking for? Authenticated. Okay, so it's a huge, gigantic draw bag, drawstring bag. I really like this. I'm going to look into it. It might be leather, I'm not sure, but that's how this bag goes. Oh my God, it's super soft. So I think, I, I'm not sure if it's leather or not. It, it, it is so, so soft. Um, so there's a zipper pocket here. Let's make sure that works. Here comes my cat, hi kitty. And it also has the Jim Thompson on the zipper pull. Not sure. There is a little mark over here. Let's see if you can get that right there. I'm going to see if I could clean it up. Um, I don't see anything saying if it's real leather or not. Here's the coin purse. Let's check that out. Make sure that works. Yep, it all works. So I'm going to do a little research on this and find out if this is a vegan leather bag or if it's, you know, real leather. But this, this is really cute. I can't wait to do some research on this. Kitty, come here, kitty. Let's say hello. This is my kitty, and her name is Kitty. Okay. I just don't want her... Uh, making biscuits on on my new bag okay so let's see what this is this is cute i like the chain i like the cross body i like the chain i don't know who it is yet there is a little tassel here uh leather tassel for sure and this is bcbg paris so it probably is vegan leather that's okay. It may sell pretty well on just the pattern. It has like that diamond quilted detailing. Uh, let's see if that works. It has the top handle and it also has the adjustable faux leather strap. So yeah, this is definitely faux leather and the, it, the tassel is removable. If you don't like that, let me check out the lining. Let's make sure the zipper works, zipper pocket works. It's a black lining in there. So this is a cute bag. I could probably get 15, maybe $20 on there. I do like this detailing. The detailing, it's like chain woven into the faux leather. So I do like that. It's a cute bag. Cute and stylish. Okay, let's check out this next bag. Who is this by? Do we know? Do we have any takers? Um, not sure. I don't see a name on here. It's a crossbody. Here we go again. Um, I think it's just really more like a no-name bag. So it's a crossbody. It has three compartments there. Again, I see no names on it. It feels like it's wipeable, a clean bag. It, you know, whoop, yeah. Okay, there's nothing in there. So it is cute. It has some detailing of faux leather. The adjustable strap. Okay. So that's that. Let's see if the top zipper works. Yes, it does. So again, it's probably maybe a $10 or a $15, not a $10, probably like a $15 bag. 
it's cute it's stylish it's good for winter colors winter fall so i'll get that listed i'm still happy about the tory birch so nothing's going to change my mind oh my god this is just so cute look at that strap i don't know the name. It feels like a faux leather, but I love that. Okay, so it's a tiny little gray bag. It has the strap if you'd like to interchange and use it as a crossbody. Brand new, never used. Uh, no name again, but you know what? I think this would sell maybe like on Depop or something, even Poshmark. So it's a, just a small little bag. Um, yeah, no name. Let me put this back in there. And it has like the red lining, the zipper. I want to make sure the zipper works. Yeah, it works. And then like two other open compartments. Oh my God, I could see myself using this cute little bag. So it is new with tags, actually. I don't know who it was made by. I got to do a little research, but the the price tag is still on here, and it says fifty six dollars. So that is cute. Okay. So, okay, this has a little bit of feet. I do see like a little bit of corner wear on here. Don't know a name yet. Let's see what we have. Um, it says something. Oh, wow. I am happy. This is a Brighton purse. So it, it does have the corner wear, but it is a leather purse. I will do probably decent with this. I like this. It's like um, a faux, like crocodile alligator skin it's super soft it does have the feet um interior i see a couple of like stains in there nothing too crazy but it does say brighton on here um i really can't get to show you the like the patch but yep i am happy about this so, and it does have like a little silver tone detailing and um, leather covered. And it is adjustable, this strap. There's a little knobs. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty happy with this, this box so far. I feel like money's going to definitely be made on this box. This is super soft. I don't know who this is by. But this is super soft, and I think I'm going to love it. It's like a backpack sort of pocketbook. Super soft in a tan. Um, the backpack straps do remove. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Zip, zip, zip. So it does zip up all the way around. And let's see if I can find a maker. Joa Brown. That's who makes this. Again, nobody I'm familiar with. It is definitely leather. I feel like this is a quality bag. Just by the feel of it, I like it. I do really like this bag. So the leather flap, I feel something in here. Somebody gave me something. So it's a, a little necklace, a beaded necklace. Um, trying to make out the name. My light isn't the best over here. Okay, so it is some kind of marked necklace. It feels cold to touch. So I think these are either glass beads or, or a stone for sure. Um, if I could only see the name, it looks like A-U-M, 
arm. So I'm going to Google that. So, yeah. So that was in here, maybe for good luck. Somebody forgot it. Maybe their bad luck. Or maybe they left it in here for a gift for someone. So, okay, so the top, I want to go through this bag with everyone. So the top flap, it has the working zipper. Okay. This is how it works. It has the top handle here. Closure in the front. It zips up through the back all the way up to the front. And then we have a nice roomy interior. Uh, let's see what this says. This says... Leather, and I'm trying to think. Uh, poly... Like, poly cotton is what the... The inside is the lining. The lining seems to be in great shape. So I am definitely happy about this box so far. I love these boxes. I just ordered another one. They were having a 30% off sale. So that's what this looks like. And I'll tell you, it's really in nice shape. The back, the front... You could use it like that. You could use it as a backpack, whatever you like. Let's move on. That's a nice one. Here's another gigantic bag. Okay, so this is by Ms. Teak. Okay. And it has one of these type of knob that you turn. Okay. So again, it's like a nylon bag. Good for, like, the rain and, you know, that kind of weather, snow, rain. Let's open it up. Let's check out the handles. I feel like this is a faux leather handle. Um, it's big and roomy inside. Okay, we have a little zip pocket here. Nothing in there. Let's make sure the zipper works. Okay, so it has the the top handle, and then it has the adjustable shoulder bag handle, strap rather. Okay, the outer pocket back here works. I flipped it upside down. And what's this about? Okay, this gives you a little more expansion. So I see a lot of bags doing that now. For when you need it, sometimes you need a little, sometimes you need a lot. So yeah, that's this. And this is in really nice shape, really. I don't see really any flaws. So I think this is, you know, something that is definitely sellable for sure. I'm going to look up that uh, brand Ms. Teak it is. Oh, I do see one little spot right there. But yeah, and it's like an olive green. I actually just bought a pair of pants from somebody on Poshmark about this color for the fall. Okay, this bag, mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Again, it's like a no-name bag. What is in here? Okay, it's some kind of like uh, zip pull maybe tag I don't know so it's like just your burgundy vegan type bag I do not see a name on this so it's just a crossbody and it's like a wine like a burgundy wine same color interior I don't see any flaws with the interior one zip pocket and the zipper works. Um, and then just, you know, for your eyeglass case and your phone, here's some kind of tag. Just says made in China. And then the top zip. So that's that. It's a cute little square crossbody vegan bag. Okay, what else do we have? Another gigantic bag. Okay, so this is by Simply Vera. 
Vera Wang. And this is just like a shoulder bag and it's the faux leather. I do see a little bit of white on there, not, you know, terribly bad. Um, let's look inside. I feel like something's missing here because this is, maybe you could clip your keys or something onto it. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But it's big and roomy. It's one large compartment in there inside. Um, if anyone knows what this is, I think it might be for your keys. Because at first I thought it was going to be a closure type of thing. But I don't think so. But yeah, it has one zipper pocket. Let's make sure that zipper works. Yep. Oh, maybe not. No. So the zipper on the inner pocket is broken. Um, it came, you know, undone from the other side. I don't know if it's something I may be able to fix or not. We'll look into it. Um, and then there's the other two, like the phone and eyeglass pocket. And then the rest is just a lot of, um, just a lot of room. It's a big bag. Yeah, I think this is to hold your keys. That's what I think it is. All in all, it's not a bad-looking bag, you know? So I'll see what I can get for that. Okay, this next bag has a key on it. So let's see who that belongs to. So it is... I thought it was... I didn't want to say it to look like a fool... It's fossil. Okay, so this feels like, um, just like, uh, I forget what kind of leather they call it. I don't know if it's a faux leather or if it's that, I can't think of that leather. It's like coated, but this is a cute tote bag. I'm sure I have a lot of people who buy from me and they really do like fossil. I like this bag actually. It does need a little cleaning up. Just a quick wipe down. It has the magnetic pocket over here. Okay, that's just like an old receipt or something. It has your eyeglass, your telephone pocket. Then it has this zipper compartment inner. The everything works on that. The lining is really super clean and it does have adjustable leather straps. So I think this bag is really cute. So Fossil, I know I'll be selling that for sure. Okay. So this is, I don't know who, it looks like it says Radley. And there's a little Scotty dog. I love dogs. So, yeah, it says Radley of London, I think. So, again, it's like a nylon purse. And it has like a little Scotty dog. And it says Radley on it. So, I'll look that up. I'm not sure about that brand. Everything is clean inside. The interior is super clean. Like, it looks like it has never been used. So, oh my God, as I'm, the, the zipper pocket works. As I'm looking closer at this bag, I want to scream because there is tiny, tiny, it's like tone on tone, but they're little Scotty dogs. Can you see that? So this is super cute. I love this. I wish they were little Boston Terrier dogs. So if you do not want to carry it but as a crossbody bag, the, the strap does come off, not a big deal. And magnetic closure, there's a little pocket here. This is really cute. And yeah, this is like a nylon. And it has like just like 
the the coated fabric like leather uh, feet to rest on. I don't think this is real leather. There is some wear over here, so I will disclose that. But all in all, this is a cute little bag for somebody who owns a Scotty dog. Little Scottish Terrier. So that's that. Okay, this is a vintage bag. This is definitely a vintage bag from the 1980s. It's a long shoulder strap. It has like a leather, short leather ball tassel. Just this, the, I'm trying to think of the name of this bag. It reminds me of a Omar Sharif bag. That's what this reminds me of. I don't know who it's by yet, but I want to show you the outer. It has like a tapestry design. Then it has a reptile inlay over here. So this is telling me this is a leather bag. Um, it has like studs holding the strap. Okay, let me look in here because this really truly reminds me of like a Omar Sharif bag. I don't see any markings that it says. It does have a zipper pocket, inner pocket. Yeah, let's get that out. It's roomy. I feel like it, it's leather. Or maybe it is faux leather. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. But there is like a lot of design to it. And it's definitely, definitely from the 1980s. So that is part of the zipper pull. So let's see if I could show that bag a little bit better to you. Okay, this is really cute. And I think it is a faux leather. I think it was like a knockoff of the Omar Sharif bags. But that's the bottom. But yeah, if you're into 80s or into shoulder bags, I got the bag for you. Okay, so I got a dime. So we're going to put that in the fund. And the fund I'm talking about is my hopefully one day I can retire fund. <laughs> okay, this is a big bag. Like, this is super, super large. Um, it's suede. Okay, that's the, a side pocket. This is a good travel bag. Okay, there's a little pocket here, another side pocket. It has five feet. Okay, so you can hold it like this, but it opens this way. So let me open that back up. And it's like a deep red maroon suede. And these are leather handles, for sure. So let's see. Let's see if I can find a maker on this bag. This is a nice bag. This bag is by Free People. I love it. I love it. I got a Free People bag. And let's see. I think... It's suede. Yeah, I know it's suede. It's definitely suede. It's not a faux suede. So it's a super roomy bag. Look at that. And there's nothing. I don't see anything wrong with this bag. A little bit of glitter on it, but that's okay. So I think this bag will do well, this free people bag, for sure. I, I already know... This bag 
this box has paid itself off. And I've made a good profit, even if I wind up donating some beds. But they're all sellable, so I don't think I'll be doing that. I like this bag. I travel a lot, as you all know. I almost think I may keep this bag for myself. This could be my personal item. I like this. Let's see how much I can make on it. Okay, so now we're down to the last bag. And this reminds me of, let me not say anyone's name in case I'm wrong. Yeah, no, I'm glad I said nothing because I don't see a name on this bag. It is another no-name bag. It's a faux leather. It's cute though. So it's a tan. It has to be reshaped a little bit. And it has the tan plastic link with the gold tone link and the tan straps, handles. So it's a super roomy bag. There's a lot of compartments in here. It's unsigned, so I don't know. It's just an unsigned bag. Let's make sure all the zippers work. That one works. Yeah, so it's like that. Like that. There's a zipper pocket there. And then there's that middle compartment. So not bad. It's not a bad bag. And then what I think I like about this is it also zips, zips closed. And they did do the detail of the faux leather. So we have the top handle and the crossbody. So we're going to count the bags. I should have received 15. So here's bag number one. It was a no-name. Bag number two, vintage 1980s, Omar Sharif knockoff. So that's two. <laughs> the, the Scotty dog bag, that's three. The fossil tote, which I personally love, is four. Here's that Vera Wang big shoulder bag. That's five. Here's the no name, uh, just square, I forget what they're called, just cross body bag. That is six. There. Number seven, and this was by Mystique. So that's seven. This free people bag that I am in love with, that's eight. This Jim, I forget who, Jim something. No, this wasn't Jim. This was, let me look to see who this was because this will be bag eight. This is Joa Brown, that's eight. Brighton is nine. Again, another cute, but, but super cute. That's t uh, 10. I like that one. Another unknown brand, that's 11, but I think I could sell it for the style. Here's number 12, and this is a BCBG. Here's number 13, and this was, I don't remember who, this was that Jim Thompson bag, and I think I only counted 14, so I think I'm missing a bag. I will recount this off camera and correct it if it's wrong, and this is my Tory Birch. So that wraps up my, my handbag rescue box. Now I'm going to go film the next one. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day. I will see you all soon.